Hi everyone, Simple Mom. Welcome back to my channel. Happy Tuesday. And I just wanted to take a quick minute to definitely shout out everyone who commented on yesterday's video. Your love and support really means a lot. Um, yeah, you know, um, the question was asked and I just thought it was a, an, a great opportunity for me to come out and kind of give a little insight on the real world when it comes down to losing weight for those who are just you know starting the journey and they think that it's gonna happen like overnight and it's not it's work every single day um the old saying goes rome wasn't built in a day it sure wasn't it was work every single day and that's your body it's your temple we have to work at it every single day so with that said We'll get right into it. I'm excited. It is walk strong, build, balance, and inner strength. And today we're going to do walk one or session one, as she calls it now. Um, is core control. It says fusion together elements of Pilates, dance, and yoga. This flowing low impact cardio session incorporates standing only abs. Work for a stronger center and a surprising amount of sweat. Oh my goodness. So I believe this is barefooted. I don't know. I see I have to put it in. Like this is wrong. I I haven't previewed it or anything. You guys see firsthand what I see firsthand. Um so I'm excited to start her. Um yeah. So oh another thing. To those in the Fitbit world, I am actually going to wear my iPhone watch. All week for the next week um, I have been asked by several people do I prefer the iPhone watch or my Fitbit and I really haven't had a chance to like sit here and say oh this one more than the other so I'm gonna put it to test I'm gonna wear it all the way through Saturday and then I'll do a video on a Saturday I wore the Fitbit enough to know how it works and we'll see now the my iPhone watch so let's see how that goes. See you in a little bit. Two more. Hands on top of your head. Beautiful. Feel the backs of those arms. Pressing that. Squeezing through those triceps. Give me four more. Three. Five, two. Cross your hands over the spine. Drawing in as you give us that rotation. Last four. Three. Use a plie. You stay with Debbie if you want. Adding the abs into the mix. Arms open and like this. And twist. Eight more. Six. Seven. Six. Keep that chop nice and big. Four more. Nice. Good. Let's move on. You know, so often we. I think the word work out can have such a negative connotation sometimes. It sounds so slowly, it's a moderate movement. Four, three, yes, good. Always thinking of crossing behind. Gentle twist to the way outside. This is definitely one of my favorite ballet inspired moves. Up, under, down. Good. So this is just kind of our active recovery, right? The more you tense up and try to force it, the harder it's gonna be to have that nice big full range of motion with your arms. Four, three. Nice wide step, Barney. Gorgeous. Nice, four more here. Nice. Scissor those arms nice and big. That spine neutral. See how these bent? Oh yes. Use those abdominals to cross over the front of the body. Beautiful. Four more. Up. Crunch. Up. That's it. Breathe. Eight more alternating. It's eight. And then we're starting to really sparkle here. <laughs> As you breathe. Use your upper back. Don't tense. Contract. 
your strength isn't always something that we see from the outside. It's something we experience and feel, right? Under for two counts. Look under your arm. Twist and open to us. Exhale, draw the waistline in. Inhale, open. Your hips are staying square to the side wall. Try not to move that lower body. Two, three, four, float it down. Let's just step to the side, front back. Nice job. Float down. Again, lift in with the abs. Control it. Down. Last. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Very nice. Reach. Good. Keep breathing. Focus your eyes forward. Find your center. Find that control. Good. Let's step out to the other side. Use those abdominals. Kind of like wax on, wax off, like the karate kid. I think this reminds me of. Arms up overhead and rounding forward, just take your hands to your thighs and inhale, round. Exhale, arch. Let's just slide the hands a little bit further down the legs. And I think we've already dropped that heart rate. Get that inner strength that you're developing is going to become your outer foundation. Thank you so much for joining us today. Quick 15 minute bike ride, four miles. I'll take it. Once again Jessica did it this is definitely not your jumping around but you do keep your heart rate at a certain level um, is barefooted Whew. and it's Pilates definitely in yoga instructed which is really 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 nice she says in a part of her video that exercising doesn't always have to be like you know tiring and and all over the place and i tell you like it wasn't where her other videos where you're like moving you were moving gracefully um but i do feel like i stretch every part of my body i definitely felt like i worked my core and my abs in my lower booty area um session one five stars and i have to say for those of you meredith that love ballet and pilates you guys are really going to enjoy session one um very nice and surprising i'm sweating you know and it's like wow and she said it's at the end you know surprising amount of sweat i agree because it wasn't like i was like all over the place to have such sweat but she definitely incorporates the arms and that's what gets your heart rate going and that's really how you burn a lot of calories so five star for session one so with that said it's tuesday stay in it we've come too far to go back see you tomorrow